why you should quit your life to go travel the world. As you can see here, I'm in London. This is the St. Paul's Cathedral. Uh, apparently it's the second largest in the world after the Vatican. Pretty interesting. Why should you quit your life to travel the world? Well, I'm going to give you three reasons. I'm going to start with number one, and that's the most important to me. The most important reason why you should quit your life to go travel the world, in my personal opinion, is that it is the best education that you can possibly get for yourself. Me personally, I don't really learn that well in a classroom environment. Ever since I was basically a kid, learning in the classroom had not worked out for me well at all. So just being in the same room over and over again, you know, listening, lecturing, that is not the best way for me personally to learn about life. Never has been, and I don't think it's anything that's going to change. But traveling, on the other hand, has taught me a lot of things about myself. It's taught me a lot about how to navigate the world. It's taught me about how to relate to people of different cultures, um, different kinds of people. It's taught me how to get along with people better. It's taught me how to basically be calm in a variety of situations which may be trying, difficult, challenging situations. For example, I was in Thailand at one point and we had to figure out a way to get to Malaysia because the visa was running out. If we, if we didn't get out in time, uh, we were going to basically be arrested at the airport or some, face some kind of charge uh, relating to the visa and extended stay. So I'm sitting here in my hotel room in Thailand, Koh Phangan. Yang. Uh, Jesse's next to me. He's sleeping he's fast asleep. Uh, we have 10 minutes until we have to be outside for our taxi. We're going to go to Malaysia today. One thing we had to figure out in Thailand was we had to get to Malaysia on a very sort of small budget within a quick period of time. We didn't know what the visa rules were and none of the people at the travel agencies were giving us valid information. We were getting false information from the travel agents and we ended up uh, taking a bus a van to a bus to a boat. I'm pretty pretty much assuming that we're in mainland Thailand because we just got off a three hour boat ride. Jesse was sleeping and I was sleeping and that's amazing. Mainland Thailand's gorgeous. I want to go over there. We're about to explore the real Thailand. The real Thailand. Thailand! Thailand! So it is uh, 10.35 in the morning in Malaysia, Penang, Georgetown, little island. Uh, we just woke up from our little budget hostel. We were there for like, I don't know, four, four to six hours of sleep for about nine dollars each American. And this is Malaysia. It's pretty sweet. It's a lot more popping during the day. It was absolutely dead last night. We actually were scared of zombies eating us. It's very cultural. Where do you think the ATM was? A situation like that, you don't really know how to deal with it until it's right in front of you. And there's going to be many situations throughout life where things, a challenge comes up and what do you do about it? You have to deal with it, you have to stay calm, you have to be able to use your brain, you have to be able to think on your feet and traveling has taught me that uh, to a great extent. Like I said, that's reason number one. The best education that you can get is traveling. Traveling is just seeing the world. It's really just experiencing life and if you're experiencing life in a college classroom, for example, not that I have anything against college, but if you're in a college classroom and that's your only experience of education, then you're getting a very limited education um, in that classroom. You're only learning what you can learn from the lecturer in front of you, from maybe your students and peers around you, and in that environment, maybe on campus, that environment as well. But if you're stuck in one place, then you can only learn what you, what's there. On the other hand, if you travel like me here in London right now, I'm learning lots of new things. Yeah, I couldn't even name to you all the different things that, I, that I'm learning it's because it's so much happening. And that's really the main reason why I would say it's it's a good, a good idea for you to quit your life or figure out a way for you to travel for an extended period. Me personally, I'll be on the road for who knows how long. I'm here on a one-way ticket here in Europe. Could be a few months, it could be years. I have no idea and that's great for me. I'm not suggesting that you have to go quit your life completely and just move somewhere else to Europe on a one-way ticket. I realize that's specific to my personality and that's fine. But the education that you get interacting with people traveling around, figuring out how to get these challenges, you really learn rapidly and you learn so much when you're traveling. So that's the reason number one. Number two uh, is going to be relationships. 
the relationships you develop on the road when you're traveling, they can be lifelong friendships and relationships that you keep for the rest of your life. Personally, the, the friendships I've made traveling um, in the past two years have been some of the best I've ever made. And I attribute that to a few things. One is the fact that when I am traveling, I'm in such a good place. Uh, I'm so centered, like so feeling great about everything, life excited about to wake up and walk around, appreciating these new environments and beautiful architecture and you know people around and everything. It's, it's awesome. What a nerd. What a nerd. What a nerd. What a nerd. <laughs> What's your name, miss? Um, my name is Christy. Christy, where are you from? I'm from Budapest. Budapest, Hungary. Yes, Hungary. And look at this beautiful view behind that's, us. That's a beautiful place. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful place. Look at the sun behind us. It's, oh, that's nice lighting. Oh, that's a nice Woo! light. Woo hey, anyway, beautiful place, beautiful people. Hey. Hello. So, as far as the person that you are when you're traveling, if you enjoy to travel, um, you are going to be, you're going to attract the kind of people around you that that are, have a similar type of energy and who are also growing and learning. And those those type of relationships, when they start like that, are amazing. That's the number one reason. That's what I would say uh, uh, is the main reason why relationships are so good from travel. And besides that, you just have a really great time. And you can, I mean, traveling, you can make friends all over the world, you know. Uh, me right now like I'm visiting multiple people across multiple countries who I've met in previous travel experiences that's amazing as well so if I was to come up with a third reason of why you should uh, quit your life and travel the world that third reason would be at the end of your life when you look back on your experiences you are going to as they say in all those famous quotes you're gonna think about the things that you regret doing you're gonna you're gonna look back and say oh I wish I had done more you're not you're not gonna say I wish I had done less uh, unless you're saying you're thinking less drugs or something probably that's that would be an exception uh, you're never gonna wish that you had traveled less you're never gonna say oh you know that trip to England probably should have just stayed home uh, that trip around Europe that I took you know I quit my job and figured out a way to do it probably shouldn't probably just should have stayed home and worked at the desk job you're never gonna say that and if you are that's fine we have different personalities and take you know you can ignore all this that I'm saying. So again, to reiterate, the three top reasons why I suggest you, for me personally, why you should quit your life and travel the world. Number one, it's the best education you can get. You'll grow as a person. You will learn incredible amounts about yourself and about the world and life. That's number one. Number two is the relationships you make with, when you are traveling and the person that you become as you are meeting these new people in new countries and new cultures and uh, all across the world. That's number two. Number three, as I said, is when you look back upon your life, you're never going to regret doing more and experiencing more things. You're always going to appreciate the fact that you did that. And it's difficult and it can be scary to do. Me, um, I definitely have fear about the future, what, what it holds. I don't know what it holds. And that's a scary thing. And it, that's exactly the mindset that I want to be in because that makes me grow. When I'm comfortable, I'm, I'm, I'm stagnating. When I'm too comfortable, I'm not growing. So when I'm uncomfortable, that's how I know I'm doing something right. So if you want to uh, quit your life and go travel, I recommend it. You'll learn a lot, you'll make awesome friends, and you're going to have an awesome experience of life to look back upon. So that's really all I have to say to you today from London. What's up, man? Yeah, good old London here. Good Tuesday. It's a Wednesday, actually. It's a Wednesday today. St. Paul's behind me, beautiful cathedral pretty sweet very good and uh catch up with you later fuck yes